This will be quite interesting. So at the moment, we've got both uh, picks being Ranger. And looks like at the moment, they're trying to decide who to choose for picks. It would be uh, Nyx and uh, Blakovic. Yep. And then we have a Slash. Wow. This is going to be interesting. Backsting with the Slash. Bus Driver X going with the Anarchy. I mean, both great movement options here from both players. Risky. Risky. With Risky the slash. is definitely an understatement. I think this is the first time Slash has been packed, uh, sorry, packed, picked on any other map apart from Sarnip so far. The yeah. competition place. So, yeah, it's going to be very interesting. It shows finally the meta is changing ever so slightly. I mean, I heard, I heard rumors that he had been practicing it. But yeah, I wasn't expecting it. So this is going to be incredibly interesting going into this game with a slash because, uh, it, you know, as soon as we start, we should be watching it because it's just so fluid as a, a really good player can move around the map with the crouch slide. It's just, it's just, you know, you just want to start playing slash, even though it's not great for the meta quite, quite right now. But, uh, you know, maybe some improvements to how our ability works or, you know, a bit of armor, health buff could uh, change that dynamic. But... You know, we'll I see think how you're right works. there. I think with the health buff or armor buff for Slash, it kind of works. It would work if it was like a um, on a different map. But obviously, you've seen it on Sarnoff as well. Works quite well. But you know, a Slash on this map, it's gonna be very one, interesting to see how one, he actually one, plays it. But well, doesn't surprise me. But it's on this map. But it looks actually, like it's, it's pretty. Be it's thing. not so bad on this map, to be fair, because you can make these these rail jumps so easily. But we're not going to start off with a slash. In fact, we're going to start off with a gauntlet kill with Bus Driver X brings the bus with the school kids in front. And just <laughs> absolutely rams. Bus Driver X, you know, being British, you know, wants a proper punch up to start off things with his gauntlet powers. But it looks like with his Nyx, though, though, he's going to be having a look around to see if he can catch him off guard anyway. But he knows he's going for the Mega Nails, so it looks like he will be going for the rocks and potentially heading back for the armor. It was just... <laughs> Going for that rail. You what, mate? <laughs> I'm having you. <laughs> do you know, with Bus Driver, that doesn't surprise me. It's a, it's a very British thing to do, isn't it? Going through the corner. I really hope Bus Driver is an actual bus driver. That would just make my day. <laughs> you find out he drives like the K3 through London or something. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, enough about Bus Driving, even though that is his name. I would love to know why he chose that name, but... He's obviously a very experienced bus driver, but it looks like right now they're both similar on par, but it looks like now with uh, bus driver having the uh, having a mega on board, he's got good height advantage. Just keep an eye out to see if he does go for the armor, which he does. And it looks yeah. like he's going to try and catch him off guard. Maybe one more rail, and he does Bang. manage to uh, kill him with ease. Those rails were spot on. No, no struggle at all. And now he read into the spawn beautifully. Bus driver, stop it, you naughty man. <laughs> Five rails in a row. That was absolutely Prepare ridiculous. A fantastic um, it, assumption and game sense for going mid, uh, bottom mid for LG as well. Yeah, I mean, he was like playing GTA with that bus. He was just <laughs> running kids <laughs> over. <laughs> How many puns are we going to make in turn in this match? Well, 10, 20? Uh, maybe a few. Uh, I'll run out soon and get bored. <laughs> <laughs> I think we at least made five of it in, <laughs> without, uh, without a question. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much running out now. But good <laughs> prediction rocket coming in. Yeah, it looks like uh, we just uh, Bane at the moment. Just keep an eye out to see if he does go top rocks for the rockets, which he will do if he's got the discipline and patience, which he does, but sadly misses. And it looks like he will rush in for the LG and try and pick him up for the telly, but great play by Bus Driver coming back out of there. Bus Driver actually landing a lot of damage with that LG. In such a short period of time, he's going to land the rail too. He is low, but he finds the Mega at the same time. He has the opportunity to take away the armor here, but that rail knocking him down could slow him down a bit. But no, he's got the movement. Oh, he doesn't clutch catch that, that rail though, unfortunately. That could have maybe done it, but it seems that uh, Maxine is able to get stacked up. And now Anarchy is on the back foot, picking up the small 25 time bubbles. But the Rockets are coming in from above. Good read from Backstein as he will now have the, the champion pick. And we see a, a blast of it coming out. I think with Bus Driver as well, it's like he had some really good rail shots earlier on. But I think the situation he was in earlier is that it was a really awkward position he was in. And it's not the easiest, like, to see in the top half of the or just the head just in general. So it's understandable why he missed quite a few shots. And I think it was vice versa for uh, Backstein as well but now Backstein at the moment just patiently waiting he knows exactly where he is hope to catch him off guard but it oh, looks like uh, no. Bus Driver is already waiting for him and what? even though he's this special he's still managed to die maybe his LG in was off I'm not too sure about that wow that was a huge mistake from Backstein he pops it out in a perfect opportunity I mean Bus Driver was looking the complete wrong way 
I think, I think he just flaked out on his aim a little bit there and was given a golden opportunity to land so much damage with the double LG and just panicked and... I actually thought we had that, to be fair. I did assume that Backsteam, even though he had Vox and was actually uh, shooting him and pushing him into the wall in good positions, I felt like uh, Buster was actually be able to LG him, no problem. But yeah, Backsteam was a very clean 3-0. Yeah. So, yeah, one all so far. That's quite crazy stuff, considering the last round. Yeah, I mean, Bus Driver really flaked out there at the, the top. I think I might have been saying it was Backsteam, but I got my, uh, my names mixed up a little bit towards the end. But... Uh, yeah, that opportunity round should have not three. been wasted, but Baxin cleans up a nice round, one to one, picks up rail, and now he's going to wait. So I was say, I do love how much their abuse range are getting there. Rock and everywhere and stuff all the time, all going for a mega and getting, getting armor at the same time. It's fantastic play. Don't, you know, it's a very common thing to do, but you don't really see it that often, like, unless it's like, it comes, it's, uh, depending on what spawn they get at the start. The gauntlet came out lower there from bus driver. He's waiting on the rockets. This could be foolish. LG comes out and it's pretty strong, but the rockets come out stronger by the looks of it. 90 damage scaring off the bus driver. As he goes for the mega, it could be risky. Popping his heel though. So he's looking okay. Does he think the mega's been taken? Is he? Oh, I think he might. No. No, he reads into the situation just right. Oh, he literally just saw a glimpse of it appear. So Perfect. yeah, that was good discipline and good waiting by him and fragged bus driver, no problem. So right at the moment, I think it was a good fake. That was a fantastic fake, actually, by a backsteen there. And he put bus driver, like, sitting back for a little bit longer than he should have done just to keep him pressured whilst so he could go down and get the armor. That was brilliant stuff. It was. To be honest, backsteen read that situation so well. I mean, he was kind of questioning whether uh, Bus Driver had already picked it up earlier in the fight when he hit the rail, but he stuck around long enough, and Bus Driver thought he had an opportunity, to, and he finds an opportunity there by the looks of it, finds that steel and takes eight, a rocket to the health. Eight HP, just machine gunning, but obviously he doesn't know, but he knows he's weak, but sadly he didn't know how weak. Yeah. And now he's going to go from eight HP to 50 health and 125 armor, just like that. Yeah, he's, he's looking pretty right now. And you know, with that anarchy out of the way, he's he's flexible. But like I was like I was saying, that that mega play was superb because there was Bus Driver X mistiming it, and he had an opportunity if Baxter didn't go for it to actually get that and the armor and just absolutely uh, take a map control very easily through some mistiming, and it which would have like been nice. He but just missed. I think it was actually Bus Driver just didn't he? just barely missed the jump for the mega. So it looks like a little bit of pressure maybe coming from Bus Driver. And sadly, due to that and missing the Mega, and also the best thing about that, that he delayed the Mega by at least 15 seconds. So he, now Bus Driver is going to assume that it's actually coming up quite soon when actually it's nowhere near the current time he assumes. Those rails were nice as well from the high ground on the pillars. Not easy angles. The, the top to the bottom, vertical rails, not easy. Oh, big damage coming out from the rail but an exchange of blows. Playing it slow, waiting for the rocket rocket pickup there. It was a good move. Oh, there we go. Oh, I was expecting a really nice mid-air rocket there by Backsteam, but he just barely misses it. Now Bus Driver is in the driving seat. Uh -huh. You know, just had a bit of <laughs> another little fun there. But now it looks like he is on the search for him at the moment. But yeah, he's looking in great shape right now. Oh, the Invis comes out beautifully oh, from behind, but there comes a double LG from the Bus Driver. Oh, I love his name, mate. Do you know, I, I think it's, there's a lot of um, aliases I've seen in the past, but this is definitely one of my favourite by, like, a long shield. Well, it, it's definitely in my top five. Slash like, is my, dead already. And, yeah, it looks like after that, uh, after Bus Driver being down the champion, he makes a nice Rackers comeback, 2-1. Should have slowed down the game, try not to get the frags in thick and fast. I mean, the opportunity on the rocket launcher area was too good to really give up. He landed a perfect rocket launcher, 89 damage, flicks his opponent towards his face, but the kind of follow-up shot was just a little bit off angle, which would have killed his opponent. And unfortunately, he wasn't able to catalyze it on that last round, but bus driver X, nothing registered back to him. He's complaining that he's having issues you know, oh, well, bus driver having issues with just in general we were playing dual or just like no, he was just he was just saying that he was having uh, non-reg hits on that fight on the armor, and it's clearly tilted him a little bit, and that will 
probably tilt him a little bit more back steam. <laughs> well, here we go. We can finally see. I think I didn't really see much of Slash last time, but finally I can hopefully see uh, back steam Slash and just see exactly how he uses it. Because, um, well, not very well. Oh, you know what? The one opportunity. <laughs> It's and it didn't happen. <laughs> this is why you don't use Slash on any other map apart from Sonic, I suppose. Well... Didn't get much of a chance, though, really, did he? I mean, it would, be, it would have been better to start off with a Slash, to be honest, because that way you're, you know, you've know, you got a guarantee of some armor, some mega health. Do you know what I mean? Because most players usually spawn on the opposite sides of the map. Every time, it just became a snowball effect. That you had this squishy champion off the spawn, ran in straight away, and just got absolutely hammered. Now, I was thinking with Bus Driver X, have we actually, because I don't think he's actually made any of the top 16s in the first couple of weeks, but it also makes me wonder, has he actually competed at the end of the first couple of weeks? Unless yes, he has. He, yeah. he has, but I'm not entirely sure who, who he had lost to. Uh, I've only got the top 16 here on my, on my lists, but uh, he has done and has played in both the qualifiers, I believe. But, you know, his team on Alliance, uh, on Alliance, you know, he's been doing really well with Sparty Syndrome. Uh, strengths etc and doing really well on that alliance team going forward and sacrifice so maybe that was his priority first and now he can focus on jewel now that he's got more free time in the evenings to work on that and but uh, i have heard he's had some quite hard opponents as well because um i've just been told that bus driver did lose to witchell at one point and obviously you know he's one of the people who've qualified i think it might have been uh, i'm not sure which which week it was might be week two. two yeah yeah and uh yeah to be fair to him he might have just had a hard bracket all the way through but Again, you know, you say he's had a hard bracket all the way through, but again, it's another hard bracket against Backsteam. But the way he's playing at the moment, you know, he's not doing too bad. No. Hopefully he can continue that momentum into the next map and, you know, take it forward and hopefully get himself further into Some the... Some more British players in there. Yeah, you know definitely. I mean, I mean we've, we've, <laughs> we've actually got a load of good British players actually coming through the woodwork. I mean, ZSX and Zoot as well. I mean, Zoot quite a surprise, to be honest. Um, you know, cast a turn player almost. It's, I don't think he's playing tonight, though. As he's oh, be. that's quite a first because normally you get the well. Normally they're a player first and then they go into class tonight. He, he was so. a, he was a player, but he wasn't anything serious basically in uh, in in Quake Live. He he preferred the caster role, but when this game came out, he kind of tried to step up to the plate and he's been doing really well. So. I watched uh, Zoo against uh, I think uh, ZSF and uh, literally when I was actually watching him, he was, he was actually really good and the matches were close. So, you know, I do think Zoot, well, Zoot could actually be one of the people to uh, potentially qualify. So, but then again, you've got 300 others. So it's gonna be very difficult. But going into this game right now, as we know, uh, Bus Driver is winning 1-2 at the moment and both from starting as Ranger going into this blood run match. Yeah. Oh, beautiful start for Bus Driver. I mean, that was really smart play from, from Baxting because, you know, he got the Mega. He missed the rail. He knew that he could use the dire orb to get up to the top armor, right? Beautiful. But bus driver just waited on there and dire orb straight on him and switches the whole situation of control with one shot. And I just could not believe that he had mega and armor as well on top of that as well. What a way to lose it. And right now it's a little bit of a sticky situation as well, but it doesn't matter because Whoa. he gets two lovely shots and plus the orb as well. But now he needs to get his health back to uh, get ready for the next time he spawns. Bus driver, man. How did he see that shot through the through the smoke? That was incredible. I think this did he just. Oh, sorry, come. I was just gonna say, did he just guess that? I mean, he turned around, did the 180, shot, bam, straight in the face. Nick's ain't gonna be a problem right now. And now we're just left with a visor that is a very easy target to hit. It's got a big model for a small champion. I think it's going to be very hard for him at the moment because of the fact that we've only 12 HP. He does need to back off at some point. Yeah. But Next shot wins, though, at this particular point. So I'm surprised that Bus Driver didn't want to take the risk. Maybe he's going to try and take the risk here. Oh, no. Did that hit? I'm not sure if that did, actually. But, oh, it's unlucky. I think he's hoping for a possible trade as well. But it doesn't matter now because now he's got Bus Driver on spawn. But yeah. Bus Driver was waiting, hoping that he could actually get away. But sadly... He didn't wait long enough, and it looks like now Bus Driver is on the receiving end at the moment. Did he is? Backsting with great two rails off the bat towards the rocket launcher. That's put uh, Sawlag like in a bad situation. It's going to come in for the, the small armor room. Yeah, and right now he's trying to find out his opponent, but right now, as you see, Backsteam was playing the sound game, but it looks like now he's trying to figure out exactly where his opponent is, and now he's got all the stack he needs. 
he will potentially go, but I don't think he knows he's there. They both don't know, and now they well, they will know now. After spinning the acid, drops down with the LG, both LG, but literally he could die by the tick, but if he gets in the blood pool, it'll health. be perfectly fine. Okay. Very close there, but lucky for that orb and a little bit of the blood pool, he managed to uh, managed to stay alive. I thought that was going to be a more rush for health there, but uh, he was okay. Recover the situation. Looking for an angle here. Nice rail. Oh, it's a fantastic rail. Literally just barely managed to clip him. Skin with the end of his teeth. But it looks like now Bosch Driver will be pulling back, trying to find any armor he can at the moment just to, to see himself in the next fight. But it looks like he's going to be caught off guard. Both fell in each other. And it looks like now one all. Oh, sorry, one zero. Sorry, to Backstein. Very nicely done. And this is Backstein's map pick, if I remember rightly. So, you know, is this going to be a good pick for him so far? Yeah. Let's see what uh, Bus Driver can do to get back into this. I mean, he had the great start. I mean, such a great start. Great thinking. And again, here we go. The same maneuver. Ready for it. But this time, there's no Telefrag. There's uh, no Dire Orb Frag. It's not really a bad move to do. I know it's like some people may say it's a bad thing doing it for That's a second it. time round. But when you've got two high tier players, both of them will be like, oh, God, they won't expect me to do it a second time. So, you know, that's understandable. But. You know, in those kind of situations, I don't blame him for doing it again because it's when you get that spawn and you're right next to me, you can't not as Ranger go up for the army. It's a risk worth taking, even if it's worth losing Ranger. But right now, he's just raining, getting ready for the Mega, which he has done now. And now he's just trying to pick uh, Buckstein off. It's gonna Sorry, uh, Buster over. Pick up some uh, damage from behind. But misses the armor. He, but he's in the acid at the moment, just taking some damage. He's going to get a good reaper. The rocket's too low. Jump straight over. 23 HP for Ranger now. Backstein on the back foot. He needs to run. Oh. The 180. The 180 rail. Just, oh, I hear something. Switch. Bam. <laughs> just in the nick of time. The rocket wasn't quite on the right angle to get the uh, the double KO there. Good rocket on the fall down, though. Yeah, it looks like Backstein is all ears at the moment when it comes to the situation. He's not in a bad place. He's still tanking rail, but Bus Driver knows that and goes straight into the rocket kill. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised he didn't pop his uh, ability there. Bus Driver now has an opportunity to get back into this. He has to be careful of the Knicks. He's popping out the rail. Oh, it's going to be close at the moment. And sadly, just misses the rocket jump. Gauntlet in the wall, knowing that he's, yeah. <laughs> he's not really too happy about the situation. He has to be careful here. But this is the really to take, but you know, because we saw this before, where a lot of people, well, uh, match rocks would go for the, go for the armor, and then obviously both times he went, both times he got killed by it. But it looks like that was a risk worth taking for bus driver, and looks like now he's going to try and go for a close rail, but that could be a bad situation. And Backstein finishes him off with the rocket, and now it's 2-0. Quick turnaround. I thought bus driver was going to be able to pull back into that game. He looked like he was, you know, getting some momentum back. But obviously shut down. Two yeah, zero. it's a shame because Bus Driver, I think, did a reverse sweep that round. So yep. it's not really a great feeling. But looks like now Backstein's got the armor this time. And I think Bus Driver isn't going to do the whole... Also, no, it was Backstein, so you've got a different spawn. So obviously, yeah, he can go for the Mega and then go for the uh, armor strafford. So but he's comfortable with the armor now. He knows exactly where his opponent is. And he's just going to try and put a bit of pressure on him. Yeah, he's going to know that he's going to go for that low Mega area again using the, the tri -bolt. Landing some damage, picks up armor. And it looks like right now both players, they both do know where each other at the moment, but they're both baiting the, uh, baiting the armor. But it looks like right now, Backstein does need to pull back a little bit, but it looks like Bus Driver's coming straight in with the Snorlag. Tries to orb him, but it looks like, oh, Bus Driver's just managing to be able to actually take that win. And now with the uh, armor mega coming up quite soon, be interesting to see how it comes up. But it looks like, Bus driver seems to be quite tempted to go for the corner sometimes. <laughs> I mean, he had major success with it already earlier on. But uh, Maxine has to be careful here, pick a, picking a lot of damage actually onto the, the Sawlag. But Sawlag able to get Mega, able to get the armor, locks down control. He's looking pretty now. He's got the Ranger out of the way. Possibly the Knicks now as he dives straight in there. Oh no! I thought um, that rocket was. Uh, Going to throw him up and he was going to receive some extra damage there. But luckily, he lands the direct straight into the face of Nyx. But fantastic mid-air rocket by Bus Driver to stem. But this is the same situation we saw last round where Bus Driver, you know, he was up two champions and then he got reverse switch. But I think he knows to take it a bit more easy this time. But after that mega, it's going to be really, really close. And it looks like it will be a very nice 3-0 sweep for that round. And it looks like Bus Driver managed to learn from his mistakes previously.
Yeah, I mean, he, he went in there with the armor stack advantage and he was committed to the fight straight away. The LG battle that he had initially when he went into the Mega was perfect. Just so much damage. I'm not entirely sure if uh, Visor actually picked up Mega. I think he might have done, but, you know, the, the follow-up rockets, then the rail combination, just uh, great, great work from Bus Driver and showing no fear in that fight as well. I think Bus Driver just has no fear in general. Like going around with a gauntlet, think he's in a fist fight outside some some club or something. It just <laughs> it just seems to be like absolutely not caring about the scenario he's in. Like it could be one champion left, or it could have all three champions in the round. He's, he's he not... literally just does not care about the pressure, or which is a great for you know, a player such as Bus Driver. I mean, he's not doing it to troll either. I mean, he's legitimately using the gauntlet in key areas. When see, he only brings it out for a second if if he runs into somebody in that tight corridor. That takes a lot of discipline though, like having, some people do get a bit lazy in those little close range scenarios and don't bother actually getting the gauntlet out, but you know what, it just shows a lot of discipline uh, what Boss Driver has. Yep. He's uh, very focused right now as well, trying to make his next move on this Mega. I think he wants to deny it, but obviously the armor's up. He's going to risk it. Oh no, this is beautiful LG! <laughs> oh, Backsteen! <laughs> If there's ever a time to have the perfect LG, it was definitely by Baxter, and almost kills him on spawn, but just barely with 10 HP gets him away. But sadly, Baxter assumes he's gone elsewhere, but he is waiting for him, hoping to go through, but sadly not. And Bus Driver just barely, from the skin of his teeth, getting away from that little uh, scuffle. Oh, that was so superb. I mean, Bus Driver riding the lightning there. All the way to the top. It's beautiful when you land that, especially against those big tanky champions that you know you can really dish out the pain. But here comes the pain from Bus Driver. Oh, what a mid air! Fucking. Whoa! And literally, uh, right now, Baxter is the complete opposite of the stick. He really wants this round to that, tie up one all. That fight, I was so convinced that Bus Driver was gonna was gonna turn that around. But uh, he, you know, he knocked his opponent into the midair. He needed to hit that air rocket. It was his only only choice at that point. I did literally think it was just going to be a one-to-one -one champion uh, bailout, and literally I did assume that okay, right, it's going to be Backsteen onto his next champion. But yeah, I thought exactly the same, completely Dio. And it looks like now Backsteen with that very dominating performance in the final round to take that three one. So yep, yeah, one, one. current map score one all at the moment. So yeah, kind of. A little bit what I expected, considering both these uh, players are very high caliber skill in terms of what they want to do. But what you've got to remember is now Bus Driver won the first map, which didn't involve him having to choose a map. So this is at his advantage now. So it could yeah. possibly be his match to lose. Indeed. Uh, it's just going to be interesting to see what he picks here. I mean, that, that LG play coming in from Backsteen was ugh, frightening. <laughs> it was absolutely insane. I mean, he had like half a second to lock that down and he did so perfectly on the rocket jump. And uh, unfortunately, Bus Driver just fell into a chasm then after that and you know gave that room for Baxin to just manipulate him, take away all the armors and items that he needed to get back into it and slow the game down or play it as, as aggressively he, as he wanted. And that's what he did. Pushed in, took it, what tied it up, put the pressure onto Bus Driver. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, because with Bus Driver, it's like, you know, I do love the whole no fear attitude and how he goes around the map with his movement and wh what he likes to do things. But sometimes it can, you know, it can't be like the best thing, but like, it's going to be interesting to see Thanks how he that. chooses his third map, because it looks like it will be Sarnoff quite interestingly. And um, who was it who chose Slash? I think it was actually Backstain uh, who actually chose Slash last time on the uh, first map. Yeah. So risky, risky choice again. Rains are coming out. Safe pick here for Bus Driver. He's going to go with a Visor 2. Again, a nice safe pick. What he's familiar with. Slash can work here. But again, I think start with Slash rather than sort of leaving it as your last champion. Because if you get into that bad situation where you get a bad spawn and you take a rail, she doesn't have any gimmicks to really get out of that apart from having good movement. And, you know, against good players, they got good aim. They, they ain't missing. Well, this is the thing, but with Sarnoff being a pick, um, a little bit surprised, but also um, considering uh, Backstein chose Slash on a map where it's never been chosen before in uh, competitive play in the uh, Thomas situation. I was quite surprised they didn't choose it then, but I think he felt like he was a little bit uncomfortable with Slash on that map because he barely got to use her. So I think he probably assumed, right, okay, you know what, I'm just going to choose what I'm fully comfortable with because, you know, this is the third map and potentially, like, the last second last qualifier for him. Yeah, it's a risky, it's a risky move. I mean, 
he was playing so well on the previous map with the lineup he had and kind of weird changing up again to the to the thing that got rolled over quite easily i mean but then again maybe he's just you know he's thinking about it the situations that he w was in you know there was nothing he could do misread so maybe he's just not going to overanalyze it not zero. sort of destroy Three, himself and just two, go in confident knowing one, of what he is capable of fight. no it looks like both these players don't seem to be bothered by uh, any kind of pressure like that but it seems like right now bus driver straight away with the armor and it looks like he is patiently waiting but like with Baxter at the moment he can hear him without stuff but like oh sorry i do apologize he did choose slash i didn't actually realize that because i was wondering why he chose slash on a different map but not on the Asana for all maps. But yeah, ignore that. But yeah, at the moment, he is trying to look for him at the moment and just trying to find out exactly, trying to get some information on him. Yeah. Was it the first round? Did he, when he got gauntleted, was he playing Slash then on Bus Driver? On I... the first ever round, I think he might have been playing Slash or it could have been Ranger. No, it back. was, um, Slash was his last, well, all I know is that it was his last pick, like through a few of the rounds. But I'm not yeah. sure if his last pick on that round. But to be fair, both times he chose Slash, he literally. Barely even got to yeah, use he, it, did he? He, he literally got about 50 meters, and that was it. But this is Rocket. It's brilliant. Waiting patiently for Bus Driver to come round towards the uh, to the Rockets area there. The meta is ever changing. It seems like Sana seems to be the home of Slash at the moment, and fantastic play by Baxter. Mate. This is what I wanted to see. One thing I wanted to see was a great Slash play on this map. Ooh. And yet, Bus Driver was tempted, but we've got Menzel. Baxter's on no. low health as well. Two HP, and now he needs to back off. He... Oh, nice movement. See, just a quick little crouch slide, and you can fly off an, uh, and the next jump that you do. And he just needs to pick up his health ball here. He's got the armor to support him. And this is great positioning from Visor. He's reading the situation right, but did... Was that a rail? No, he did miss that. He needs to know now that he can't really take a tank shot. Well, he can now, but previously, he wasn't really in a great position to tank one. But, you know, he can now, so it's not really too much of a problem. So oh! I'm trying to go for the Mega, and the Mega now appears, and Bus Driver barely missed the Mega timing by just Super. a couple of seconds. The, see, what's really interesting with the crouch slide in that particular area is that you really limit that rail shot coming in because round you know there's that, that sort of knee height cover as you come round and you can slide directly under it and it's exactly what happened he got this opening sort of movement which gave him that rocket that just led him into a beautiful air rocket onto the wall it was just oh, it was a thing of beauty and it, that was the smallest of crouch slides as well to do that and as you can see just floating around the map in all oh, the lockdown goodbye anarchy see bus driver later, bus driver and it looks like his slash, that's the thing, with slash's speed, some people can't control it too well. In terms of aiming and then, oh, and as I say that, he just gets orbed. And that was, in my opinion, his last way out, unless he would have got LG to yep. death. This is oh, that's so so devastating. This happens a lot when you're against the Rangers, that players go in with the aggression, they know they got the frag in hand, and so they, they loosen up on their movement. They give very predictable paths, and of course, instant telefrags at point blank range it's just it just happens so often because you know good players wait for those opportunities and they don't want to waste they've, they've got the stack to waste essentially taking damage but everybody just kind of forgets that this thing can one hit you even though you you're embracing the fight and you're going okay i'm going to take a bit of damage here if i'm going to run right next to his face but uh yeah just really unfortunate there for uh Backstein. i was rooting for him to actually get that frag yeah, this is exactly it. It was a shame, really, but it looks like it doesn't really bother him too much, considering, well, I think that will bother him too much. There's Bus Driver with some clutch rails at the moment. And both these players have got such good foresight on what each other are doing, and the game sense is just immaculate. But right now, the Mega is still up. It's been up for a while, but I think at the moment, Bus Driver is more focused on keeping him on spawn to try and catch him off guard. But it looks like if he does want to go for the Mega, it's still up now. and. Armour's just been picked up. Mega was up for a long time, but to be fair to him, Bush Driver was trying to keep him on spawn to make sure he keeps his map presence. Mm. It was, that was that dire orb was superb. I mean, the the rail, dire orb, reading into the situation, catching up so his opponent couldn't escape, and then another rail to finish off. It was a very very tasty frag. One word, Ab well, two words, absolutely disgusting. And it seems like now, but it was potentially, I just assumed he was going to fake that, but it looks like now he just barely finishes him off with 9 HP. 1-1. One, one. And yeah, we've got a series on our hands at the moment. That that die roll at the end was a little bit risky. <laughs> Bus driver maybe not enjoying that.
Nice. <laughs> I think he well, must have known that he was also yeah. really weak, but you know, never mind. He's I think, still winning. I don't know if he's calling his opponent lucky or, or uh, lucky. good rockets. Max Dean with the slash fast. <laughs> never mind. No luck. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was scenarios. calling it for himself. I don't think he was calling his opponent lucky in any regard. So. I, I would probably, but you know me. I've always, I've already said to you in the past, and I don't believe in luck in uh, superstition. There's always a reason for everything. And sadly, there was a reason for that. Just barely escaped with nine HP on that final round. But right now, Bus Driver already down a champion. And it looks like now with his slash, I feel like if he doesn't take out his slash, it's just going to be a never-ending story for him. I think he will. I think bus driver's got just get one good a shot and lock him in a corner. I mean, if he can do that and lock down this this slash play, slow it down, he can easily do it. But I just want to see more slash play. I'll be honest. I don't. I don't. It's just nice to see this movement again. So quick in the face. The Dyrell misses. This is surely... Oh, oh he LG. decides to switch, doesn't he? Just mid-fight. And maybe if he carried on, he might have been okay. It was but the, it, you know, he got straight into his face. He had the rocket launcher out. He missed the first rocket, which didn't... Which essentially went past the Ranger. And so he forced the switch because he started making space between the, both players. And, but oh, these direct rockets and that second rocket by Backsteam is absolutely unbelievable. Wow, and nice right score. now, the, the one thing about Slash is works, the fact that how consistent his accuracy is whilst moving around with her. It's been brilliant stuff so far. Yeah, superb. I mean, his movement's been absolutely top-notch. And, you know, at that particular point at the end there with the visor pick, it's when you get off a spawn like that, you're like, oh, I'll go for the nearest armor. And... Really, essentially, what should have happened is that he should double back towards the teleport behind. It can be easy to forget that. You kind of just want to keep the playing going. But this is a key frag here for Bus Driver. And we're switching to his point of view. Rail looks, comes out. Yeah, and it looks like now he is trying to just have a look around to see if he can get any information on his opponent at the moment. Baiting the rail, patiently waiting. And Bus Driver knows this is his last chance. And he's one champion up. A nice rail by Driver just then. And he's going to try and catch him off guard by going to the Rockets, but as you know, Baxin is not going to fall for such uh, silly play. No. Comes in from uh, above, flying in, lands in the rail, lands a little bit of LG, but now the Rocket's scaring him away, but he can back off to the armor. He had the position for it, so he's good. He could afford to be aggressive there, take a bit of damage, and then back off to the armor whenever he chooses. But this is it. <laughs> Baxin's going to hug the rail. And it looks like this could potentially be a two-all round in a two-all series. So we could be looking at the final round. Uh, Bus driver, I think he's trying to be funny, waiting for him to come through the teleporter without too much information yet. But, you know, so far, Bus has got a nice bit of army. If he gets this next round, we could have finished him off. But luckily, with Nix's ghost walk, he just managed to, to get away. Yeah, 25 HP roughly for... Uh Backstein here, his last champion. He's desperately trying to find the help. Ah, oh, bus driver's clocked onto him. I'm afraid. Oh, no. What? Are you really? I was quite surprised by that because me personally, like if I had a, a wow. decent stack, I would have actually gone in and just like finished the job. But maybe he doesn't actually know exactly I mean, what he's come up against in no, terms of himself I mean, and armor. But. He had the frag there. The, the, the fact that he was getting the, the time shards, getting the health bubbles, I don't think he had his invis up, and that was a prime opportunity to finish this, but this could be it here now. This could be Stuck on this side of the map, he is locked oh, down. This could be a first sign of pressure from Bus Driver, but to be fair, who can blame him considering he's 2-1 down in the final set in this series? And it looks like now Bus Driver's on a not bad stack at the moment. He is trying to hopefully get the arm in and literally just manages to get it, but obviously sacrifices a lot of his uh, health to do so. I mean, he does so, but I think Nyx actually popped the invis before going down there. I could be wrong. But Rail's good. Can he find another? He needs to. And evacuating. Bus driver doesn't want anything to do with this. He's got loads and loads of time. This is control. Now in favor of Backstein. He's got time for the comeback. I mean, these two frags were very early on. And he's mistimed the Mega. He's just got a time on the, uh, the armor, though. He's just waiting for the shot. Maybe he thinks that he's gone up. Yep. 
There you go. Nice waiting there from Backsteen. Yeah, it seemed like he just didn't want to obviously because during the situation he's in now with the pressure and everything and the fact that even though his three champions up, he doesn't want to take the actual risk. But I think he's been a little bit more he was, not as carefree as he used to be, you could say. He was setting up a trap. Um, he was hoping that his opponent didn't hear the armor being picked up. Hence why he was waiting at that doorway, waiting for him. He heard him. And that's what he was doing there. But uh, it didn't pan out that way. And now Bus Driver X manages to squeeze out, finds an opening, and finds himself the armor. This but, would it be a too bad of a situation now, even with his anarchy, he could play the timer now? Because he's only got a minute and 25 left. And you've got to remember that Backstein's got to take out two of his champions to actually yep. take the round, or at least draw it and take it to sudden death. But it looks like now, we could, well, we could see our first sudden death situation, but it's not looking like the way uh, Bus Driver's movement and position is happening at the moment. That, that shot, how did that hit? That was... To me, that was, yeah, that was peculiar. That 80 damage lands and surely another rail. That should have been an easy rail. He hits the, the hard one just before him. But <laughs> hits the hard one, misses the easy ones. Yeah. It's just like him. <laughs> it's like one way or another. But this is the perfect opportunity now. He can even maybe try and put pressure on and try and finish him off or just delay him for the next 45 seconds. Just keep him off his back, play for time. Just try and make it to all, just to helpfully take it to them to all the final uh, series of the set. Yeah. Takes the takes the armor again, bus driver. Backstein on the back foot, needs to make a move. And just as we were talking about the timing, it's a very nice direct rocket from behind. So, fair play to him. But here we go, final rounds, final game. Yep. Who do you reckon it's going to go to? It's or are you going to be biased? I'm, I'm, <laughs> you know, I want the Englishman to win, but I also want Slash to win. I want to see more Slash later on in this tournament. And, you know, Backstein exactly... being very brave, pulling it out twice here. And it's it's been awesome to see so far, but Bus Driver X getting the Mega, getting Rao, getting all the lovely weapons that he needs. I think this is the thing with Bus Driver and Backstein as well. So the fact that even if they knock each other out today, I do feel like they could do really well in number four of the uh, qualifiers anyway. But just barely getting away with 7 HP, Bus Driver wow. just managed to hold his own. But oh. still goes for that frag and what a rail by Bus Driver. And he, he knows it was good. He knows it's good. And again, it just seems to be on fire right now. What a time to be on fire. Wow. I am so surprised that Backstein actually tried to, to go down for that armor there. It was a little bit delayed. Maybe he was running away and wasn't looking where his opponent was, and that's it. Oh, my goodness. Bus driver just seems to be absolutely on the road to the next round. And it seems like... If, he, if Baxter could do anything with his visor now, it he would needs, be to he try He needs a and Christmas miracle right about now. <laughs> yeah. And as you said earlier, it's, it's July. It's, we've got a long way to go. Yeah, miracles don't happen in July, my friend. But I can tell you what now, miracles won't be happy for Baxter if he doesn't step up his game and get these next power-ups. And it looks like now that he's uh, trying, to, like, trying to put him off guard. But again, Baxter is on the back foot and Bus Driver is in that situation where Bus driver could at any time play for time and just delay him, but it's going to close like it out. Good oh. rocket, though. That rocket saved him. Basically, it shot Anarchy up into the air, and he tried to air control back onto the platform. He couldn't quite do it. But no, he's hugging Anarchy right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> we all love our bear hugs, but come on, man. This is quake. But it's this... very rare. And a time to get in the corner out, bus driver was right there in them. But he managed to get away anyway, so it probably would be better for him. He's able to get back in control here, though because of that mistake, because of that, that little scuffle that was happening on the stairs. And now he has armor. And he's got a health stack in advantage. He just needs to find the angles, just needs to find a good rail. Hopefully he's chasing from a peculiar angle. Oh no, he's double backed onto the Mega now, Backstein. And it looks like Bus Driver now maybe playing for a time for a little bit too early, but also trying to apply the pressure. Yep. And it looks like now with two Go minutes and 35 picks. seconds left, every minute's going to feel like an hour to him now. Yep. But it's definitely doable. If he was one champion down, I'd think to myself, you know what, I can easily go and see this going to sudden death situation. But if he keeps putting the pressure on and forcing him to come towards him all the time, he might actually be able to pick him off. But it looks like this could be a fight top mid, and GG. I think this could be the final fight. This is the final fight, unless this rail hits from Backstein. Oh my the scuffle, the rockets, the knockdowns just save him long enough. Backstein can't afford to take this next armor. He needs to find some health elsewhere and restack in a safe location. But he, he's got a lock on him here. He heard the jumps. The rail's good. Needs another one, though. It wouldn't surprise me now if he just backs off. But the thing is, though, now he's got two minutes left. So 
time starts ticking and it looks like Backstein is going to be more pressured to take more high risk maneuvers to actually even get a kill. But, you know, misses a rail, backs off again. And I love this play by Bus Driver. The way that he's basically, you know, faking that he wants to get into a fight when actually he does it, it's just like shooting a shot and then backing off each time, delaying every 10, 15 seconds. It's a fantastic maneuver by Bus Driver right now. He's just trying to find the poke, the openings on his opponent as best as he possibly can. And there again, he finds one. He knows that the armor's probably gone now. And this is it, minute 15 remaining. Every second to bus driver right now. It's probably feeling like a day. And he knows full well that Baxter is not only desperate, but he's going to risk his own life at the moment to actually this try and take this. So he could force Baxter into a horrible situation, but picking up these armors consistently, what can Baxter do? Baxter is running out of time as well. He needs he needs to make a move, he needs to be aggressive, but the thing is, Anarchy Bus Driver doesn't need to be aggressive. He can run around like a headless chicken and avoid his enemy, and that's what he's going to do here. He's taking the fight, though, and he will finish off the map. Fair play to him. I'm not going to lie, Bus Driver, but you have got some balls of steel, I must say. But, yeah, unbelievable. Fair play to him. He really stepped up that last round, and it's like I said before, if there, were ever, if there was ever a round to step up in, it was definitely that one. But it's good to see some slash play as well.